everyone. My name is Sydney May and I'm here to talk about my testing experience and give you some exam tips. So my testing experience when I was preparing for the exam and trying to take it and practice and pass and, and do all those things, I suffered from extreme test anxiety and I really did not know that. So every time I would get on the exam, I would, I would try to study um, get to the exam and I would just kind of forget all the material and, and just do horribly. So I, I really, the last time that I took it and passed it, I really started paying more attention to it. And I also started developing or practicing some relaxation techniques. Um, definitely some separation time from studying and, um, you know, real life. So I d definitely had to do that because I was like ultra focused, too focused as a matter of fact. And then I also started developing test taking strategies. So I'm here today to give you some exam tips so you won't be in my shoes. So some exam tips that I can give you, I would have to say the first thing once we get to the exam or before we take the exam is to just really be prepared. Be prepared. So what do I mean when I say be prepared? That means signing up for School of PE refresher courses. That means, you know, looking at the NCES exam specifications and requirements and getting into what you don't understand versus what you do already know and start developing yourself a study schedule, sticking with it and putting in some contingency time so that you can, you know, catch up if you fall behind and also make sure you have time again for downtime and personal time. Another thing that you're gonna have to develop is your reading skills. So a lot of the exams have different reference manuals associated with it. So definitely spend some time reading through some of those manuals. You also wanna start practicing problems. And once you get closer to the exam, it's a good idea to start really taking some timed practice exams. That way you can kind of see where you are. After all, practice does make perfect. I would suggest and advise the week of the exam not to really, you know, study too hard. Definitely don't study the day before. Just kind of, you know, take it easy. Once you get to the exam, my advice to you is to always read your exam thoroughly from cover to cover and organize your exam in order of level of difficulty, problems that you can solve and problems that you can't solve, problems that you are not really sure about. So once you finish organizing your problems in order of level of difficulty, the next thing you're gonna do is just solve those problems. Make sure that you have enough time, if you can, to go back through your exam and Make sure that you've answered all the questions and that you're satisfied with the answers of the questions. My overarching tip to you all is just to relax and enjoy the journey to becoming professional engineers.